Hi guys, it's Marissa, and I'm coming at you today with the last video of 2019. Um, yeah, I'm back in Vancouver for winter break. Um, first semester is over. It went by so fast, but also so slow. So um, I thought for my last video that I would do a things I learned in my first semester at university video. So I'm from Vancouver, West Coast. I went to a public school in Vancouver. And I decided very early on that I wanted to go out east to um, Ontario somewhere. So I applied out there. I have a whole video on that. I found myself at Western. I'm in West at Western in London, Ontario for MedSci. I'm living it up, I guess, now. But it was a little bit harder for me at first. And these are some of the things that I learned from my first semester. Yet again, Mars not wearing pants, but it doesn't matter. One of my first things that I would say to you if you're going to your first semester or you're going away for school is that it's okay if you don't click with people right away. I was so prepared to come out to school and I was so excited. Like, I'm a pretty social person. I'm pretty good at making friends. I only went out to Ontario with, like, one person I really knew. And I had, like, a couple other friends around campus. But, like, my roommate, Abby, she was, like, the only one I really knew. And it's like you're starting fresh. You're starting completely fresh. And, like, the last time you did that was probably preschool or kindergarten, right? You're meeting so many different people from all over Canada, all over the world. So it's okay if you don't click with people right away. I thought that I'd be clicking with people just like that. As soon as I met people, I thought I'd be making friends all over the place. But for the first couple of weeks, especially a week at Western, or, like, the first orientation week, um, you're meeting so many people and you're being thrown at so many people with so many different names being thrown at you and faces. And it's really hard to connect names to faces. Like, don't expect to click with people right away. If you do, that's perfect. Like, I think it's good if you set your expectations a little bit lower, um, just so you're not as disappointed if you don't make friends right away, which is fine. I didn't make friends right away. It took me a while. Um, another big thing is if you're moving out from the West Coast or somewhere that's very different from, like, Ontario or wherever you're going, there's going to be a bigger culture shock than you think. Um, going from the west coast of Canada to the east coast of Canada, from a big city to a small town. There was so many differences that I had no idea were coming for me. Um, one thing is the west coast, east coast thing. I think a lot of people would agree with me, but the people on the west coast are so different than people on the east coast, and it's really hard to explain, but if you're, if you're in the situation, you'll know what I mean. When you go to a small town, a lot of people from small towns in Ontario or around Canada are trying to escape their small town so they go to a different small town university so there's a lot of like small town girls um, or hick town girls is what they call it but the difference between city girls and small town girls is something I can't explain again it's not like you can't make friends with them my sweet mates are from small towns and I love them a week is so draining like holy crap they give you so many opportunities to like meet people in your faculty because they have fact day meet people in your res and meet people from four there's so like so much time you're being thrown into like all these different things to meet all these different people and it's crazy like you're meeting people all the time but it's so draining and then because a week is tiring um the weeks after it can be kind of like you don't want to do very much At the beginning of the year they do club stay go and sign up for things and me and my roommate abby we did that we like went around we signed up for things that might interest us and you don't have to pay anything for it first but for us actually like there are things we were interested in that we would want to do but by the end of a week, we were so tired and we were like so drained. We didn't want to like leave the building. So don't feel pressured to join clubs. Um, I know a lot of people say joining clubs is a really good way to make friends. And I think that's true. Um, like if you are in a smaller program, like Michelle, my sweet mate, she's in actuarial sciences and it's a smaller program. And she ended up joining that club and she's like an exec of it. Um, so like it's good. Clubs can be good for like making connections um, in that type of way. But... Also, if like you're Asian, um, going out to a small town in Ontario, you are even more of a minority, especially if you're coming from Vancouver. Um, but there are very little, there's just a lot more white people out in Ontario. Um, so a lot of like the Asian people that I know that came from Vancouver, they joined a lot of like Asian culture clubs and that type of stuff. Don't feel pressure to go to clubs if you're like tired and you don't feel you need it to like make connections. Um, of course, if you want to go to all these different clubs, definitely do it. Another thing that people always pressure you and like say to do is like make connections with your profs. And honestly, I didn't really make connections with my profs this semester. It's not super necessary first year. There's so many people. 
I didn't make that many connections with my profs and I still like came out pretty well with good grades at the end. Another thing about the transition going from really far away to a different school um, would be that expect it to be a lot harder than you think it's gonna be. Like I said, like I was really prepared or I thought I was really prepared to come to go out east for school um, and like be in a new environment, but it's so different than you thought it'd be and like your whole world kind of goes upside down. You have a whole new place to like make connections in and like learn about and just get used to the place you're at. So be prepared for it to be harder than you think. And like if it's not hard, then perfect. Like you're doing really well and you can be really happy. But if you have these expectations to for it to be easy and for it to be exciting and all these things, it can be easy for it to be let down if it's not like that. Try to remember that you're starting a whole new life and that it's not necessarily gonna be easy as pie the first time you go up. Get a device to write notes on. I'm using my iPad currently, but I got this winter break, so I haven't even used it for school yet, but um, I have like a MacBook Pro and I use that for notes and I'm a lot more of like a computer notes type of person, but um, for physics and calculus, I had to use a paper and pen and that did not work. iPad Pros a lot of people have or like the surfaces, the Microsoft surfaces, but something you can write on that's digital. Another thing educational wise is go to class. Everyone says this, but oh my gosh, can I not emphasize this enough? Go to your classes. Um, like by the time I started going to my classes consistently, it was kind of too late. If you go to class and you pay attention, it's so much easier to understand the concepts because yeah, you're gonna have to go back to your dorm and learn it yourself again, but at least you have, if you pay attention in class and you have that first sight into like what you're kind of trying to learn, it's like makes it a whole lot easier is because the transition can be hard it's really important to ask for help when you need it so that can be in school or like mentally if you're not doing so well ask for help if you need it it's a really big thing for universities to have support systems in place because school can be a really stressful environment if you need help in classes go to your profs go to your tas they're there to help you that's what they're being paid to do and you're paying them to do it. School can be really stressful for a lot of people, especially if you're moving from across the country. There's like so many factors that are changing on you. Some sort of counseling service. So at Western, there's one for first years at least in your res and it's so easy. You just go downstairs, you email them. It's like an email counselor and it's a part of your tuition. You don't have to pay an extra fee. If it's free, you may as well use it. Even if you don't think you need it or it's not that serious, it's sometimes good to just rant and talk to people about it. If you're making new friends out there, don't be afraid to like open up to them opening up to your friends can make them a lot closer to you. It's like your RAs and your softs, they're there to help you with your transition too and help you manage your stresses. So there's so many people that you can go out and talk to. So if you need help, you definitely go ask for it. Um, is make time to talk, FaceTime or text your family and friends. It can be like easy to like forget about, forget about your life back home, but you also have to remember that like you come back for summer and you want to have all these connections that you had before. Um, so one thing that I did with my friend who's in the cooler London in the UK is we set up every 15th of the month mm -hmm. at a certain time we'll call each other. We're like, we came back and we hung out and we're just the same. It's like perfect, it's everything. I wanted it to be in, but also you have to remember to accept that it's okay to lose some friends you keep in touch with. You realize that those are the people who are like really important to you. Like it's okay, people move on and they're gonna move on with their life and they know that you're moving on with your life, so it's okay. Another really important thing I learned in the first semester is to take care of yourself. Um, especially for me, at least a big sign for me was when I came back to Vancouver for reading break, I fainted in the plane and they had to like take me from an ambulance right off the plane to the emergency room. But it was just because I hadn't eaten, I hadn't slept, I wasn't taking care of myself, I wasn't exercising. Um, so it's really, really important that you take care of yourself. So like eat, even if you don't feel like eating, eat a little bit, like fruits and vegetables, they don't fill you up that much, but it's good for you just to get something in you. If you have time or you're just sitting on your phone on TikTok, maybe go to the gym instead for half an hour. Another thing to remember is that grades are important, yeah, but it's not, everything it's not the end all be all in the end the most you can do is try your best so as long as you're trying your best and you know you're putting in your biggest effort there's not much else you can do and if it's not like succeeding and it's not working for you, you just have to remember that that you tried your best and there's nothing more that anyone could ever ask you to do and if you need to like switch programs or you need to change things up a bit that's okay if you're not going to succeed in a field that you're not doing well in 
then it's just gonna like degrade you even more and it might be better in the long term to find something else that you might be more interested in. First year is the hardest year out of all the years. That's what people have been telling me and that your grades are the worst in first year and that's due to like this big fat transition that you've been going through. So just remember that first year is the hardest and that it's hard for a lot of people and a lot of people are going through the same things as you. Another thing that's really easy to forget is that remember that everything's gonna be okay in the end. Like in the end, if you look big picture, that one quiz you didn't do well in, it's not gonna make that much of a difference or that one assignment you forgot to hand in for math. Another thing is to get a house early, if you're at Western at least. It's really important to like hop on getting a house with like your group of friends really early because it can be really, the houses get taken up really fast. Like I got mine before reading week and we like love the house we're in, but you know a lot of people who are like struggling to find houses or houses that aren't quite right and be prepared to not feel special anymore. I feel like I was, like I did pretty well in high school, but going to university, I'm like so beyond average. Other little things that we realized that we didn't think would happen when we moved out was like little things like the changes in water. Um, so in Ontario, the water is like harder, so there's like more minerals in it. So when you wash your hair, oh my gosh, your hair is like heavier and there's like some sort of like residue in it. It's really weird. Like you use a lot of shampoo because it just doesn't set up. Um, res food is either really oily or really salty. So remember to like, if you can get like fresh eggs made, like what we do in the break in the morning, get fresh eggs made and like ask for less oil or like um, if they like season it, ask them not to season it. You can do it yourself. Try and get more like not cooked food, if that makes sense. So like fruits and vegetables and like can make your own salad. Also when you're scheduling your classes, one thing I was really confused by is when classes end and start and end and usually they are supposed to end 10 minutes before the that time so like if we have a class at 9 30 to 10 30 the class will end at 10 20. everyone is sick in the first month especially if you're living in res everyone gets sick and like the lecture halls it's, everyone's coughing like the, i tried to count the amount of time between coughs once and it was like four seconds labs are not necessarily every week my bio labs are every week because it's bio lab tutorial lab tutorial but my physics and my chem was every other week and it depends on like what section or number you're in. That's pretty much a lot of what I learned in first term. So I hope they work for you and I hope that it was helpful, um, especially to you grade 12s who are thinking about next year. But, um, and I will be posting probably my one second every day from this year um, after this. So I will see you guys then. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Mm.